Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of King of the Hill. This is our eSports, uh, Lazura eSports tournament format that we have going on with uh, currently RTS games. We did two matches in Warcraft 3. Epion, our defending champion, is back after defeating me in Warcraft 3 and he's been challenged by Locke in Brood War. How are you guys doing today? I guess I'll go first. I guess I was good until I found out Locke here has been hustling the whole time with this 200 APM. Mm -hmm. Superb carnage. I'm ready to emit some carnage right now. All right. So Locke has chosen to play Zerg. And I'll play whatever. I don't matter. Epion is starting as Terran for now. Uh, the colors are going to be a little different than what the overlay says, depending on where they spawn, but we'll, we'll go with it and see how it is. So are you guys ready to get started? I mean, as good as... Yeah, let's do it. I'm just going to put music on, drop down. All and right. happy birthday to Disenchantment. Yes, so. and absolutely a big happy birthday to Disenchantment, Epion's fiancé. So he's going to try and get this done quickly so they can go have some fun for the birthday. So be ready. I'll commit on. the first win to uh, Disenchantment. <laughs> Whoever wins is dedicated to Disenchantment. Oh, man. Locke's going to dedicate the first game. All right. Okay. Looks like we're going to get started. So first match is on Lost Temple. Good luck, Locke. Andrew, make sure you move us out of the channel once the countdown starts. Jarrett's want to know if you're ready in there, Andrew. Do you not hear me? You just started talking just that second. Oh, okay. I must have... Uh, I didn't start Discord in... Um, how was it? Uh, administrator. Administrator. Leave really quick and do it. Well, I'll move us and then do it. All right. Pretty much, next gen. Pretty much, the challenger Good picks luck. the game essentially. All right, here we go. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. We've got Jarrett and Locke spawning nearby each other. Now the question will be. Who figures it out? I don't think in a Brood War I can see a build order. So we're just gonna have to uh, interpret what they're gonna do based on what they build. All right. Welcome back. So Locke not going for an early pool it looks like. Ooh, they really are right next to each other. They are, yes. Now, they're next to each other error, but they still have to go all the way around a ramp. So, if you can see on the map, um, if you follow it on the stream, there's a ramp here. This is the way Jared has to come all the way around to get to lock and vice versa. So, they are close spawns, but they're close air spawn. Yeah, right. Ground still takes a while to get there. Where's he going with that little drone? He looks like he's going to go scout, or, yeah, he's already scouted with the Overlord, so where is he going? What are you doing, Locke? Is he trying for an early... Maybe like he's expansion. He might try to expand out there. I don't know. He just made his spawning pool. Did he not see him with this observer? He had to have seen him. He couldn't have missed him. I mean, he went right through it. Yeah, I don't know. Now he sees at least the units now. So I just really, yeah, he must have just 
Not looked. <laughs> he missed him somehow. Nice. I mean, he should know by now. He said there were like the units went over his overlord, so. And Jarrett, by seeing that overlord, will either think he's top left. Looks like he thinks he's top left. Because I guess Locke didn't reveal his overlord. So yeah, Jarrett's scouting in the top, uh, top left here, top part of the map. And there's not going to be the Zerg there. So if Locke gets lucky, Jarrett might still think that he's, that he's to the top right or mid right a bit. He's got a creep oh, colony up, so he's spreading his creep, getting a second hatchery. Got a few zerglings out. Jared's got his one barracks, three supply depot, so no no aggression at the start. Okay now, Jared's gonna get him now. He's gonna see where he is now. Oh, there we go. We have our first engagement! We're gonna have first blood! Is that SCV gonna go down? Oh he's gonna see his base hurt. Oh, 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 first blood, and Jarrett lost his SEV a little carelessly there. Not, uh, not what I was expecting, to be honest. Here comes another SCV, uh, scout. And Locke's got four Zerglings out on the map right now. Let's see, let's see, he's making, okay, made, uh, four more Zerglings, so he has eight. So you eight Zerglings on the map against four Marines. I think the Marines will win that. Five Marines now, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, generally Marines are gonna be a bit stronger than Zerglings. SCV trying to get away. We'll lock, uh, pin him down. Oh, there he comes. He's gonna try for the sandwich. Gonna, oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, one more hit. <laughs> right through the hole. One more hit. The Zerglings, I think, are a little faster than the SCV. They might get... Nope. Locke has given up the chase. Okay. Jarrett going for an early expansion. And I don't think Locke knows about that. So, uh, he's got six... he got a nice little marine line going here of six marines. I'm really glad they did the uh, HD remaster on StarCraft Brood War. Locke a little uh -oh, supply here comes. blocked. Uh -oh, he stopped. Locke's stuck on 18 supply while Jared's got 30, so Locke needs to uh, get his overlords figured out. Second barracks making by Jared to pump out those Marines fast. So it looks like Jared might be going bio. There's an overlord. Yeah, he just uns okay. He just got a good influx, uh, but he was supply block for a while. He should not go take this fight, I don't think. He's gonna see. I think he's gonna see that marine line and back out. Let's. Here he comes. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna try this fight. Oh, he's gonna no, try. No, no, no. He, nope. he, 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 <laughs> right when he saw it, he backed out. Good, good call by Locke there. Now he knows what he's dealing with. He should expand. He's got the drone out there to expand. That's good. Oh, but he used up another 100 minerals to make an overlord. I think he's using up all his minerals before he can make it. Let your minerals go first, so you can make the hatchery. Come on. Just 50 more. Yeah, you're waiting. Hydralisk yeah. den going up, huh? Hydralisk? Okay, yeah. Hydralisks are really good in uh, StarCraft Brood War. Okay, there's his expansion. So Locke's got two hatcheries in his main. He's got his expansion building. Oh, he's going to lose his Zerglings. Actually, he got, he got three, four, five. That actually was a great surround by oh. Locke. Ooh, Locke took a great engagement there. That was that was actually quite nice for him. That was quite nice. Yeah, but for here comes these three Marines that clean. Well, those three Marines will actually lose to that many Zerglings. See, the Zerglings surround, so Jared's in trouble here. But he doesn't uh, pay attention. Okay, he's good. Okay, Locke. He's got some more Marines there. Locke showed some spunk there, but the problem is Jared's still way ahead in the supply. He's got plenty of SCVs, still enough Marines to defend, and Locke's just hoping his Zerglings rush. You know what? If he rushes with these Zerglings, he might actually win this. Oh, there's a fire bat. That's he's gonna have to keep that fire bat alive, and the medics are coming if Locke hits before the medics come. 
It could. Okay, it's over now. Not happening. <laughs> Not happening. He had a. Oh, just at the. Oh. He missed his timing window. Missed the timing window. Okay. All right. This is. This is going okay. Uh, maybe he's trying to bait him out. Mm, well, he is. He's, he did get three marines out there. See, the thing that's awesome about Brood War compared to StarCraft 2 is that there's lots of little skirmishes. It's not like uh, StarCraft 2 where you build like one giant army and then go giant army versus giant army and then whoever wins that usually wins. It's a lot of little skirmishes that then slowly but surely puts a player ahead or behind and then you end the game. And you can have, and I think the match between Kinoi and Locke in StarCraft 2 is kind of like that because they're in the lower... Uh, divisions and lower leagues of StarCraft 2, but in the higher StarCraft 2 leagues, it's very much just giant army versus giant army. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so I, I remember game. playing Brood Wars many, many moons ago. Okay, so... Locke, play, Locke playing very safe has three sunken colonies in his base when there's no sign of Aggression. I mean, uh, Jared doesn't even have a uh, starport up yet. He's just now getting his factory up. So, uh, those sunken colonies aren't are kind of a waste of a resource right now, and could have been used on his expansion. Jared's kind of coming out in the map. Wants to maybe poke at Locke a little bit. But Locke's got a pretty good amount of zerglings, but Jared also has four fire bats, which will make mincemeat out of those zerglings. So. Or, I should I say, barbecue out of the Zerglings. <laughs> hey, it is Memorial Weekend. Yeah. Got a barbecue. Firebat is one of my favorite units just from the voiceover and stuff. They're just, they, the, the voices that they gave the kit, that the the units in Brood War is so much better, I think, than StarCraft 2. It's just, I don't know, something about Brood War is very gritty and just really cool. I've always loved Brood War. Never been great at it, but always been uh, a fan of it. So Locke well, you know, this pretty is back with the older uh, RTS styles, you know, when they yeah. when they had it right. Yeah. Oh, we might see a fire. Well, Jared's got his uh, line of units coming down. The real question is, does he need to take a fight? He's ahead right now. Like, Locke's the one who has to play catch up here. Jared's got better macro going. And uh, Locke's kind of... He, he's surviving, but he's also putting no pressure on the Terran, and I believe it's the Zerg that wants to pressure in this situation. The Zerg is the one who wants to pressure. Zerg doesn't benefit from longer games compared to Terran. Terran is the ultimate turtle race, which is how uh, Flash became so good, was he had this great style of defending, defending, defending to the point where you just could never beat him. Well, it looks like we have a starport that went up. Yeah. Jared's probably going to drop some uh, tanks on a, on the cliff next to his expansion, because I don't think Locke has anything that'll deal with that. It's the one thing about Lost Temple. It's got oh, a couple of cliff tanks. bases. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do. I mean, he's going to poke here. I actually think he could take a straight-up engagement if he wanted to. Um, I'm not sure. It looks like he's hiding his hydras there. Not enough hydras. Those hydras just, they, they do get incinerated. And stim marines and fire bats are a good unit. So, yeah, looks like Flock is dead. Yep. That was ugly. Not enough units. Those medics can just heal through those sunken colonies, so not a not a great not a great position to be in. I'd say it's gonna be a pretty quick game number one. Well if memory serves me generally group work in pretty uh pretty quick. Um, it depends. Like, some Brood War games could be very long, too. But, 
they aren't the fat. They they are fairly quick if uh, if someone's aggression is not canceled out. Like usually the long games are when both players trade armies evenly. And I think I think Log needs to just GG out of this. It's 109 supply to 25. Just just end the game, Jared. Oh Lord, just, he's trying. He's just, got one Hydra just, that he's just, gonna try to do just something. Go, just go end the game, Jared. Yeah, just just. Well, he's got he's got <laughs> some Hydras, but just, just go end the game. Just, just, just go end the game. It's it's this game's done. He's got more troops coming. Yeah, just, yeah he's a, he's ending the game. It's like, okay, Locke, you're really not gonna GG on that? So fine. I'll kill you myself. All the way. See what- Hey, I can't blame him. I won't give you the benefit of the uh, surrender. You gotta take me all the way out. Oh, so you're one of those scumbag players that will go hide a building off in the corner and just be like, ha ha! That's right, I will keep my fishing <laughs> boat alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, and he's leaving. No! This game should not last this much longer. This is gonna be a massacre. I mean, it already was a massacre. He's just toying with him now. Oh, but he is making lurker eggs, so if Jared does not save energy on his commsat stations, which are full on energy... Okay, he did GG. Alright, there. Hey, all right. So game one it goes to Jared. It was it started off fairly okay for Locke, and then he just kind of fell behind. Yeah. Uh, let me pull. Uh, uh should we pull him in? Uh, just take us back into that channel. Yeah. Good game, guys. Hey there, GG. Locke actually... The, the Lings caught me off yeah. by surprise. Locke, Locke actually started off strong. You did catch catch your, your the bulk of your Marines. You had a very small window lock when you had your giant amount of the Zerglings. He only had like four Marines, some SCVs. Don't yeah, underestimate yeah. SCVs in yeah. Starcraft Reward. I, I know, exactly. He, I'll say he, those yeah. SCVs are just he, too tame. He didn't have... In his. The moment you let his medics get there, though, it was done. You, had to, you literally yeah. attacked the very second his medics arrived at the front. It was like, okay, he can't do any more aggression. So, good first game. So, where are we going next, Jared? Uh, well, it's actually up to lock out of these maps, I guess. Uh, let's bring up that pro map again. Um, I think it was under web map. No, where was it? Do we have uh, proving grounds? <laughs> that's not a... I don't think that's a map. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it's under. I think it's under Ladder. It's one under Ladder. Ladder, Frontier League? Ladder? Okay, you saw Frontier League there? Yeah, Frontier League 2018. So one of those, yeah. We're playing Kespa maps. Kespa. So uh, we have Destination. We have uh, Longus, never heard of it, uh, Tau Cross, Transistor, Circuit Breakers, Fighting Spirit, and Gladiator 1.1. Circuit Breakers is fun. Sorry? Circuit Breakers. Circuit Breaker. Circuit Breaker? Haven't played on it before, so let's do it. Cool. Ooh, we might have a uh, caught by surprise. Might have a caught by surprise. And you guys had really close spawns too, but did you not see Jarrett uh, when, with your Overlord the first time, Locke? Because you sent a drone as well. Well, that's weird because the drone, I knew that he either messed up because the OV was coming at an angle that it couldn't have come from top yet. So I knew it was either top or bottom. Right. It was some freak accident. Uh, um, observ observers are close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. So yeah, it was like. We, I, I figured that with the positioning of the Overlord, and since he didn't reveal it early to you, that you when you scouted top, I'm like, yeah, he thinks it was from top, because he never saw it come from the bottom. I'm trying to look at this map and figure out what I'm going to do, so let's make it entertaining. You ready? Let's go. All right, Protoss. All Protoss right. versus Zerg, the classic struggle. Here we go. Good luck, guys. 
higher is mine. Move me, Andrew. All right, here we go. And spawning in the top left in the brown poopy protoss, it is with a one nothing lead in this best of seven series. It is Epion. Ooh, zoom. Whoa, you can zoom out it crap ton in this now okay yeah i just realized that i was like wow and then spawning in the top right as the orange zerg it is a lock yeah so this this oh, zoom is this a one -on -one map or no it's a um there's four spawning points so oh, okay two on two yeah so they could have either they could have also spawned the bottom left and bottom right but again, this is technically close spawn. What makes for some of the more interesting games are cross spawns. So top left versus bottom right would be like the long, really desired game, I think. Now, where are the ramps on this map? I don't, I don't even, okay, there's the ramp there. Ramp just looks weird on the bottom left. Okay, so. Jarrett going for early scout, bottom left, sees nothing. And Locke going for early scout, bottom right, sees nothing. So they both... Are there, are, I wonder if their drones are going to pass each other. They might, but Locke is going to count on his overlord, I think, the to scout top left. So I think... The, see, the thing is, Locke will know where he is because of this overlord, but then there so we. will Jarrett. Alright, so Jared's gonna, by seeing the drone, he probably thinks that Locke is bottom right, and he's just starting to scout, but Jared's gonna know right now that he's top right as soon as he goes up this ramp, and yep. he knows he's top right, so Locke is now gonna find out that he is top left with his drone scout, so now they both know where each other is. The question is, who are they going to have? So, looks like Jarrett going for a fast forge expand. So, there's his Nexus, and he'll put up a cannon to protect it from any aggression. And Locke getting a pool up now. It's not an early pool, so Jarrett should be able to get away with this. Oh, we've got a hatchery up already. Oh, he's trying to sneak a oh. pylon. This is interesting. Oh, Jared, you're not. He's going to cannon rush him. Oh, no. Not like this, Locke. Not like this. You should. You can, <laughs> see, you can see that pylon, can't you? No? I guess you can't. Not yet. Not until that. Not until no. the hatchery's done. Oh, now he sees it. He's got no zerglings. Oh, a little too late. He, pull the drones. A little too late. Pull the drones. You have to pull the drones! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh here boy. comes the drones. Oh, oh boy. Oh no. That cannon's gonna get up and make a mincemeat out of all of those drones. Here it comes! And the cannon's Give me, my, there. Give me micros! They too sh those cannons. Three shot the drones. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh my <laughs> cannon. He's not even. Oh no. It's just a. Oh! It's so. So bloody. Okay, he got one pylon down. But those, he lost all his those, drones. Yeah, that no cannon. More. Oh, he's going for the pylon and not the. Oh no. See the cannon two shot Zergling. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna lose the hatchery. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, Locke's gonna go for a counter attack and be greeted by, you know, another two cannons. Oh man, this is. Proto supremacy here. Uh, you know, in a best of seven, 
when you are our protest, there's always one cannon rush. It's just the it's the law. They have to. It's actually written in the contract of the protest race that you must try this at least one time. Every thou, thou shalt thou must uh, thou thou shalt run. thou shalt thou thou shalt not do a best of seven without a cannon rush. It's part of the protest commandments for victory. And I wouldn't be surprised if Locke just types GG the moment his hatchery dies. Oh, he, he there, before it even is dead. Oh, the death. <laughs> the death toll was catastrophic. Alright, it's a quick 2 0. Poor, poor Zerg. Oh, oh fuck that probe! I totally lost track of it. I knew you were gonna do oh. that shit. Oh. No. As we were just telling the stream, it is written in the Protoss Ten Commandments that in a best of seven series, you must. <laughs> there is no choice. You must do at least one cannon rush. Okay. Yes, yes. That I'm was all my bad. I I scouted you last there, so yeah. the fact that worked, I'm I'm really lucky. You, if you see, you gotta you, keep an OV. You both literally so scouted it. You both realized where each other were at the exact same moment. Because Locke scouted bottom right, bottom left, and you scouted bottom left, bottom right at the exact same time. So you both realized at the same time where each other was. Well... Oof. I hope you learned a lesson to keep an Oof. overlord near your hatcheries that are building. See, that hatchery while it's building has no vision. So, yeah. oh that's, my goodness. That's why your second OV generally goes there. Especially against uh, the Protoss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, usually, well, I was, I'm was i used to that happening, so I was looking for it, and then I just lost track of it. It's like, nah, no way it went away. And then it was already yeah. too late. Oh. Yeah. Well, oh, once I saw that mineral line, I was like, oh, I can double pylon cannon there. So I was yeah. like... Oh. That's that's gonna. He's not gonna know how to deal with that one. Oh. <laughs> Dirty, I know. So uh, if I would have. Uh, do we want to take turns picking? Or <laughs> you just pick the yeah. next map? No, go for, go for it. Go for it. Go ahead and you pick one, Jared. Uh, well, I mean, here's the problem. I played Tower Cross back in the day. <laughs> then don't do that one if you don't want to. Um, play let's 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 play Destination. Destination. It's a Casper map. All right, we're going to destination. Thank you, Tay. I will try to remember where each other were, not was. Okay, go ahead and join now. Yep, yep. Oh, so this is a one-on-one -on -one map. Here we go. They will know where each other are at the start. So you know I'm rushing him. Yeah. Or am I going to rush you, Locke? Who knows? Well, you fast huh? expanded both games. <coughs> cough, cough. So, <laughs> yeah. you know. Here, I'll give you another chance against Protoss, okay? Oh, yeah. Let's All do All right. Good luck, guys, on Destination 1.1. <laughs> Okay, and I am not moved out of here yet. There we are. There we go. Okay, spawning in the top is the Teal Protoss with a 2-0 lead in the best of seven series. It is Epion. Beyond. And spotting in the bottom as a creamy colored Zerg. <laughs> With you know weird highlight uh, with, with a blaze decal zerg, it is lock. Let's see if he can it's salmon. S salmon. Let's see what they're gonna do this time. Is Jerry gonna keep his word on not rushing? I don't think he said he wouldn't rush. He just thank said, you, Taylor. Thank will you. Will he rush? Well. That is true. Okay. Let's see. Put down his pylon and he's scouting. Oh, there's a cockaroo flying overhead. Oh, dang it. Lost sight of it. It's a uh, 
see, the fun thing about Brood Wars, there are always a bunch of little neutral units that didn't even have a purpose. Like, you couldn't kill it for, like, resources or anything, but they're there. So, it's kind of interesting. Isn't it if you click on them enough, they explode? Um, as an observer, maybe. I don't know. We could try that. Oh, so that's interesting. There's, like, a little mineral thing blocking a ramp there to an expansion. This is an interesting little map. So, Jared getting the full-on scout here. Oh! Oh, he's pulling out all the Protoss trickery! Oh! God! It's, it's so disgusting. Oh! Those Protoss don't want the Zerg to get anything done. Cue oh. the Benny Hill music. Do, 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 All right, so, <laughs> all right. Jared's went for a fast gateway this time, so that does tail aggression compared to the forge, which would cater to a fast forge expansion. So, Lockwell hopefully makes some defense units. He stole some resources. He's yeah. just... He's just... Yeah, he's, just tormenting he's, uh, him he's, uh, he's like, look at me, I've got your, uh, I've got your oh, gas no, right pylon. here. Yeah, but Locke knows there's that, that, that's just a fake pylon, then nothing can be done there. All right. Unless he does it right down here. No, even down there he couldn't, he's gonna block a hatchery, but he can't make a cannon or anything, so... He can't do the same shenanigans, but he is gonna go ahead and pile on block his expansion. But the question is, will Locke just, you know, mine out the minerals and grab the other expansion? Who knows? Let's see what happens. He's sending the Zerglings down, he's like, oh, you, Protoss, okay, he doesn't care. All right, never mind. Locke's like, never mind, I don't care, you can have your pile on in my house, it's fine. See, now in StarCraft Brood War, you can't warp in units to pylons, so... Yeah. Ah, so I was corrected, apparently. Uh, clicking mobs in War t uh, Warcraft 2 would make the critters explode. Ah, in Warcraft 2. Interesting. Alright, well, this is kind of an interesting stalemate. Um, Locke put up a this lot of defenses defensive structures expecting quick aggression and Jared's just going up to Dragoon Tech it looks like with uh, Zealot Speed most likely from this uh, Citadel of a Dune Dumb question okay. Sunken Colonies are those crawlers? No. Well if you're if you're converting to StarCraft 2 yes they're kind they're the ones that you could okay. you could burrow out and walk out and and uh, there were the spine crawlers, but these sunken colonies can't yeah. move, but they, they are the offensive one for the ground. Okay. I can tell you, I'm clicking Put the, the shit out of this caca room. Yeah, I'm doing it too. We're both going at it, trying to kill it. No, no, doesn't work. It is a pretty cool oh, neutral unit, though. So the question is, oh, see, and Jared's just getting everything. He's got a Stargate, a Forge, a Templar Archive. What on earth is it? He just, like, you know what? I'm just going to have my cake and eat it, too, and just make everything literally that a Protoss can. Oh, apparently they can explode. Okay. Oh, you made them, you finally so... made it explode? No, I, I did not yet, but I am trying. All right. Maybe as an observer, we can't make it explode. Probably not, I, but I know they can kill the unit, too. Boy, uh, Locke sure does enjoy his creep colonies. Well, now, see, it's a little bit more beneficial against Protoss. Uh-oh. But he has no spore colonies, so this Corsair can kill every overlord if you can find him. Like, where are your overlords, brah? Oh, and he scouts the spire. Derp. Herp a derp. So, Locke's game plan is found out. 
Dun, dun, dun. So Jared's just gonna pump out more coarse hairs as a counter, most likely. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was focused on the Ursa Dawn. Hmm. It's I, I don't know what it was. It's like a sloth mixed with a bear. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, Jer's not making any more coarse hairs, and Locke's kind of pooling nothing right now because he's got only 18 supply. He needs to make some overlords and, you know, get his mineral production going up more. He's not mining very well. There Jared's, we go. There's an overlord. Jared's got a crap ton on his, min on his resources, and a second expansion just popped up. But the thing is, Jared hasn't transferred any probes, so he's not getting any benefit, and he just has a million probes at his uh, main, just kind of running around going, where do we mine from? There's too many of us. Sir, you need to disperse us to another location. Not enough pylons. Sir, you need to put us in a new location because we are running into each other trying to mine. There we go. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. So now... Oh, he's, he's going after the overlords. Yes, that Corsair is That's an one overlord. Killer. Yeah. See, we're gonna have to tell Locke in between game before the next game that he needs to get more drones on his minerals because he's not mining very well. Two per rock is essentially what you want to do in Brood War. Two per. Oh, rock. another overlord going. Uh oh, oh. There we go. We got a counter now. Well, one Corsair, one away. Corsair will kill a Mutalisk. Corsairs are vicious. They are vicious. They are a must in Protoss versus Zerg. Okay, now he's making another Corsair out of that Stargate, it looks like. Locke just fallen behind. He made a freaking Vespian geyser that is gonna... Oh, there are some Dark Templars. Oh, are there? Well, then. Yes, there are two Dark Templars they have been, wandering around. They have been discovered, though, so Locke knows about them. See, the benefit to having to being zerg is your overlords are automatically detector units so zerg are very good against stealth units because they get an automatic detection whereas every other race terran and protoss have to build higher tech to be able to observe that and he's just gonna send his oh. zerglings in to die oh because you know protoss enjoy cooked zergling for dinner I mean, two can, three cannons plus a dragoon. Yeah, it's just. And three zealots and two dark templars. Which dark templars one shot zerglings? Just so you know. I mean, Locke hoping that a muta swarm is going to save him, which it might if he could make more. But he doesn't have enough drones making minerals for him. If he had more, he can make more, but he does not. Ah, oh, he's trying to hop. Ooh, what's this? It looks like a wreck. Right it on. Okay, I take that back. I don't know what the hell that looks like. What this Rhinodon looks like is kind of Rhyhorn from Pokemon. Alright, so the no, question is... Oh, I don't look like no Pokemon. How many Corsairs does Jared have? I see... Uh, three. Where are the th oh, there's three on the... Okay, so as the mutants are coming in, they're gonna die. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah. oh he's got Ganon, but waiting for it. And these three cores here are gonna finish off the rest of the mutants, and Locke's gonna type GG, just saying it right now. Wait, oh, no, he's uh, he's taking the cores here in another direction Ooh, again. Oh, I see an Archon. Yeah, the Archon's like, what up, brah? Yeah, run away from that. You are not prepared for the Archon. You are never prepared for the Archon. Alright, Corsairs are coming in to snipe some more OVs. And there's no OVs to snipe. But there are some Mutas. Oh, is, does he see him? Does he see those two those two overlords running? No, not yet. Oh, there's some more mutas. 
But their dance see Corsairs are faster than Mutas. They are faster than Mutas. So Locke needs to figure out his transition, because the Mutas will at least keep him alive for now. But he's not gonna win the game. That's a whole now. lot of dragoons. Yeah. They're gonna keep him in the game, but they won't win him the game. So Locke needs to figure out a transition here soon. Oh, it looks like uh, he's got a third Nexus going up in the back there. Yeah, he does. Oof. Oh, Lord. Well, he's got a lot of mutas. I don't know. He, they're they're not upgraded, though. Could plus one, plus one, plus one those mutas, maybe? I don't know. Okay, he is upgrading them. I mean, them. I, the he spires... might be having resources trouble. No, the spite <laughs> Resources trouble? He's got 500 minerals and 1,000 gas. He's got anything but resource trouble. He's got resource management <laughs> trouble. Oh, here he comes. He, he yeah. feels like he has enough units to do the job. He's going to kill these pylons, maybe? No, no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Well, maybe, maybe he's he's gonna try. No, no, he's gonna decide to go for another pylon. Hey, <laughs> like, all right, I'll take this one out. All right, he got a pylon. Damage dealt. Oh, going oh. after drones. Oh, he didn't lose any of the mutas though. Well, a couple of them are on their deathbed, but that's about it. Oh, but Jared's oh, had enough. This could be the death march. Jared this has had enough. March. He does the, he's like, you don't get to mute or harass me, sir. Oh, so let me just gift all my mutas to you. Here you go. Did that little fly over was not great for luck. You, you are not the blue angels. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, there's oh. Two. Oh, death. Oh, this is gonna be, this is, this, this will be is death. gonna hurt. This will be death. That's a whole lot of dragoons. That's a whole lot of everything, Andrew. Everything but Zerg, that is. <laughs> How do you like your Zerg prepared? Medium rare or well done is fine with me. See, Luck is used to StarCraft 2 a little bit, so Brood War, it's a it's a different game than StarCraft 2, it really is. Well, he's, he's deciding to get a little bit of spike damage in. He's going after a couple of, uh, yeah, and they all, of, uh, and, they, up. and they just got destroyed by his, uh, Templar storm. Alright, quick 3-0 for Jared. <laughs> we need to we need to let Locke know that he's got to spend a little more time getting those uh, Oh man, look up. at those uh, bars there. Oh yeah, bars. Definitely lots of bars. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Boom, I got 3 pylons that time. Or maybe just two. <laughs> you were determined to get a pylon. I saw you, buddy. Yeah, that's right. I, I would say one one thing that that's causing you to fall behind, Locke, is you're not putting enough drones on minerals. Two per patch in Brood War. You don't have yeah, the, you don't have I that lovely forgetting. yeah you don't have that lovely Starcraft number that tells you how many workers you need for optimum. I know. I so, know. It's a little bit different than Starcraft too, my man. I've, I've always been so bad at that timing no matter what. It's always been a curse of mine. That's that's why I prefer StarCraft 2. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Locke. What do you want to do for the fourth and potentially final game? Well, Pern, are you talking to me? I, was, I did ask Locke. Hmm. Which, which, uh, which maps were left? 
Uh, let me check. Yeah, nobody also, talking to you, you big bully. Also, I hear that somebody in chat wants to talk smack, and I hope they. I really hope they uh, challenge for King of the Hill in the future in StarCraft Brood War. I think his name is Tempest. I'd love to play him. Oh. Uh, I just want to throw that call out right now. Cause, uh, nice. I, I want to show right. somebody who knows what 1300 MMR is. Uh, destination, uh, we just did, so it'd be long, tau cross, trans. Uh, do we do transistor? I think we, we did. did not do transistor. No, we didn't. Okay, so transistor, fighting spear, and gladiator. Transistor, then. Transistor? Okay, let's do it. He's asking when you want to play. Nice. Get, get in touch with this enchantment, and I'll give you a free 4 0. Free for a <laughs> talk is live. Yeah. Alright, join the game. Somebody wants to criticize when going very lightly, I have no problem making a joke of them. A little competition, uh, never hurt anybody. Nope. There so won't be a competition. A, so this is a one <laughs> oh, oh. V one V one map, a three person total map? That's interesting. Yep. There's a lot of three player maps uh, that mix it up. Tau Cross is one of them. They were for World Cyber Games. It was fun. Interesting, interesting, cool. So this one's like expansion's pretty far away, I guess, sort of. Well, is it? I, I have never played this map before. I, I'm it, the. It's I, a weird. I'll, I'll see when we get in, but it's a weird map design for sure. Can I just take a forfeit on this one and then go pick my map? <laughs> <laughs> no. It doesn't work that way. Come on in. Let's go, LZH, LZH. Alrighty. Why does yours say Carnage 64 ear L? Because someone already took Carnage 64. So Earl was always something that we did as uh, Club 64 guys, too. Um, if someone tried to take our name or took our name before. All right, let me know when you're good, Locke. How much is your StarCraft name worth to you, Karn? Shut up. <laughs> watch, <laughs> watch, 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 watch. If, if he, he literally did have it, I would be like, what? <laughs> no, no, I sure you didn't. Yeah, I know, I know. Going random there, Locke? Yeah, I might as well. All right, pulling out, the, pulling out the wild card. All right. So Here you're going go. random against me, huh? The true maybe, hustle. Maybe I should hustle you and play your own race against you. Ooh. Uh, zerg, zerg, zerg. Yeah, All I think right, I'm going to do that. Let's, let's do that. Okay, you guys ready? Let's go. Z all right okay all right here we go so this is actually what i think is, as far as this map goes the best spawn location kind of for a good game i mean so spawning in the top right corner with a 3-0 lead in the best of seven it is epion looking to close it out on this game. Okay, they're both Zergs, so we're gonna see a ZVZ. So Locke playing random <laughs> has been that. forced to play Zerg again. So it is the green Zerg Locke. Now, ZVZ, huh? Well, Locke is scouting in the proper place with the Overlord, at least proper as in where Jared is, while Jared's going for the mid left. Now, when Jared arrives there, he will know where Locke is, but he won't see what he's doing, obviously. Whereas Locke, actually, he's sending it in a... Looks like he doesn't exactly remember where the spot is. And, oh, no, he adjusted. We're good. So, <laughs> he'll at least get to Let's see what Jared's doing. To the right. Yeah, just, it's, it's kind of like, um, if you ever saw the movie Galaxy Quest, where they're taking the uh, spaceship out for the first time, and they're, they're all kind of like turning their head like turn turn a little bit just just a little <laughs> just a smidge just, just kind of move <laughs> so let's see their expansions are on the same platform so it's actually a pretty friendly that's not as bad yeah it's a friendly expansion to be honest 
And to be attacked, you have to be hit by air or go up that ramp in the center. So yeah, it's actually got a very friendly expansion. Pretty easy defense uh, set up, it looks like, as yeah. well. And Jared's going for hatchery first. Locke it went for pool first. And his extractor. So, unless Locke can punish him Maybe. for going early hatchery, Jarrett is going to get a lead here. And Locke, by actually sending his overlord in the wrong location, is going to scout this fast expansion. So, I guess the joke's on me. Maybe the hustle is real. Maybe he knew what he was doing. Maybe he hustled me. He's like, you know what? I know that Karn, as a spectator, is going to think I'm being stupid. But here, I'm going to show him what for. Is there an igloo on the map? An igloo? There's a globe. Oh, no. I'm not sure what that is. But when I was zoomed out, I was like, is that an igloo? <laughs> and Locke, not... Okay, he did scout with his drone, so... He does see he has the spawn pool advantage, but not sending his zerglings, because it is a long... Oh! Whoops! Got a little too close to the other drones. They're like, you're not from my hive, and just spat in his face, and it died. So, Locke <laughs> lost his scouting drone, but he's sending his four lings up there. The question is, are there zerglings coming out of these eggs? I would venture to guess they are. If is they're drones, though, if they're drones, oh, up. they are zerglings, so no. there's four on four so, zerglings. I mean, it's the same on same. He does have a sunken colony being built, too, so Locke is, you know, he needs to go expand. To oh, no, did. six. Six zerglings ain't going to do crap versus six more z versus eight zerglings in a sunken colony, so Locke, go home. Go home, you're drunk. <laughs> go home, you're drunk. No, Locke, you're drunk. No. No! No! Yes! Yes! No! No! <laughs> no luck! No luck! No bad luck! Well, he went home. You bad luck. That's a that's a bad luck. All right. Well, he is getting. I think he does have a gas advantage, but if he doesn't take advantage of that advantage, then there is no advantage. And therefore, it wouldn't be advantageous anymore, Andrew. I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's got no use for this. He can't dump any of this gas. It's just... He needs to fall back and tech There's up with his gas. There's nothing to spend it on at the moment. He needs to make a hydrogen or a spire or whatever. Because if he went all... If he went fast muta right now, he could beat Jarrett if he went fast muta right now. Jarrett has no answer to fast muta right now, but he needs to do it like yesterday. He would have. Yeah. I think he would have already had to already start that. He can't start it. He could still start it now and catch Jarrett off guard, but he has to start it like now. Well, it looks like Jarrett's gonna go in with his zerglings. Maybe harass a little bit, or... Oh Wait, my goodness, you know what? He hasn't even upgraded his hatchery to a lair yet. which So he can't oh, even make no. his spire. So Jared has now gone ahead because he's upgrading into a lair. That is so unfortunate. He had, Locke had such a good position for a while with how much gas he had. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Oh no. He did win that engagement, but it doesn't really matter when you did it. Okay, Jared's getting his third hatchery going, his uh, little uh, unit building hatchery there. Locke, what you doing, buddy? You still not upgrading to a lair. You have literally nothing to spend a thousand gas on. Zerglings again. Well, Jared's caught up in gas oh. now because he's got two gases to locks one. So, any We're timing just window, wait any, any timing window lock had is gone now. He's finally making a hydrodent at least. So, 
He's going to dump all his resources into hydras, potentially, which will do well. What is Jared making here? He's got his spire coming up, so Jared's going to pump into mutas. Well, it looks like uh, Locke's got some defenses up now, if, so that'll that'll help. If Locke can make enough hydras, he might be able to break before he might be able to break before the mutas matter because Jarrett still needs a lot of minerals to make mutas 100 100, but hydras only take 25 minerals and 75 gas if I recall. So or it might be the other way around. I think it's 75, 25, yeah. Yeah. So, he's still got way too much gas, yeah. Way too much gas. I was thinking of High Templars. I think that you really get, um, are cheap. I think they're like 50. Uh, the heck? There's a Kaidaran Crystal Formation that's blocks the expansions. That's interesting. Hmm. It looks like that's the only one, unless the other ones don't show. Is that worth a lot? I, I don't wonder. have a clue. Never seen that before. It's the only one on the map, I think, too. Because all well, the other ones are revealed. Where the third player would spawn. Oh, for. yes, that is correct. That's the third player spawn location, so. I wonder if it's breakable. It doesn't have any HP like the other neutral units show. I wonder if you have to mine it, or or maybe that's just their way of saying, no, you can't yeah, do this. Yeah, maybe. But usually they don't do that. They don't, they let it, like, in all these kind of maps, they let you build on any of those locations. Yeah, that is kind of interesting. I, I don't think I've seen that before. All right, first mutas are on the board. Only two of them. Three, four, four, five, five mutas. Versus... Uh, only a couple of Hydras, though. Four Hydras, and no scores. Say goodnight to all the drones. Oh, more mutas coming. Yeah. And, you know, he has no score colony. Ah! Well, one person in the channel did mention is that it's there to deny Zerg easy four gas. Is what they is what they did with that because gas is only on certain spots. It looks like every expansion though has a gas in this map, but it would be that you would build, you would expand, and then potentially get a gas there too. So they're, they're just trying to prevent. Uh. Thank you for the information. Thank you for the information. Alright, well, this amount of hydras should be able to deter the mutas for now. It looks but like he's he, going to do a little hit and run, though. Well, he's got no spore right, colonies, go. and mutas are really fast units, so... I'm going to really rub this in lock because he had he had his shot. He literally would have won this game. I, 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 I don't, I'm not afraid to say it. He would have won this game if he just did exactly what he did last game. If he did exactly what he did last game, he would have won this game. Because he would have had mutas out <laughs> before Jared even got a spire Way up. before him, yeah. So, that, that's, that's a heartbreaker, really. It's just a build order. Like, see, the thing in Brood War is that you can lose to build orders, especially in mirror matches and Locke just he, he got an early gas so I thought he was gonna go muta again which is what you do in ZVZ like high level ZVZ is muta versus muta in giant death oh blows. no the expansion oh yeah it's dead it's it's dead but see the thing is mutas aren't great at killing buildings it, they aren't great at killing and building fast. Like, it'll yeah, take them a yeah, while. You leave them alone in a little while. Yeah, it'll take them a little while. But... See, they, they barely even tickle the, the, the hatchery, so... They're, they're a great harass unit for killing drones and units, but buildings, not so much.
Oh, he pulled the hydras away, so now he's going yeah. after the drones. He does have a score up, but not in a good enough location. All right, Joe's yeah, getting so his many third dead drone. So Locke is actually ahead on expansions right now, if he can get that mining. But he has no minerals because, again, he hasn't made enough drones to to mine with. Actually, Jared well, doesn't have a lot, a lot either. of drones. Yeah, he did. But, you know, Jarrett, to be fair, has not made a lot of drones either. So they're both not mining the best. Yeah, Locke no, is doing better this game enough. next gen. I would say so. He is doing better. And, you know, when you play someone that's better than you in these kind of games, you learn more from that than playing against people that are worse than you or at the same level. That's kind of how StarCraft and, like, these kind of games go. Uh, traditionally, is you get better by playing people much better than you and just starting to slowly get there. I don't think we can see spent resources in Brood War. We, there's no real, uh... Oh, unspent? Well, it's kind of blocked by the overlay, but Locke is sitting on 2,000 gas right now. And 100 minerals. So Locke is, like, the, the problem with Locke's situation is that he... At about the midway point of this game, around the six minute mark of this game, had over a thousand gas, could have made mutas when Jared had literally not even started his lair yet, had no air defense, and nothing that would, uh, would have defended against mutas. But he, he, di he didn't, and was instead making creep colonies, because or sunken colonies, because he thought he was going to get attacked. So... It's just, it's just unfortunate the way that this match worked out for Locke, but Jared's now masked up his army, that's and he can now, of... and now he can kill him. Yeah, that's a whole lot of mutas. See, Locke is too used to StarCraft 2. <laughs> StarCraft 2 skill does not transfer over into Brood War. So, Locke's, Locke, it may be the same game name, but it's a completely different game. I think StarCraft 2 is a lot more newer player friendly. It is, um, but it's a completely different mindset of the mechanics. They're just different. Like, StarCraft 2 is all about massing quickly, while Brood War is all about massing smartly. And proper, like, you know, not cutting corners and all that kind of stuff. And. Locke taking it kind of like a, a StarCraft 2 mentality in a Brood War is not going to help him. That's all. My, it's Brood War is way more about micro. And Locke... Oh, it, here we go. He wastes a lot of resources <laughs> on defensive structures. See, Jared's showing him this little pack of mutas, but he's got two or three of those packs in his base. So... Jarrett might suicide this group, and Locke might feel good about it, but then he can still kill him. And here he goes up to the top. He just has got so flustered by the Muta game that he isn't able to recover, really. He has no mineral, produ no mineral production, really. I yeah, just can't exactly believe how much time. gas he has. Yeah. He has a lot of gas. He should take all of his... He should literally take every drone off of gas and put it on minerals right now. Because he does not need yeah, gas. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you're not going to spend that much gas. He does not need gas right now. and He does not need it anymore. He needs minerals. See, and Zerg doesn't have, like, a Protoss unit. Like, Protoss, you can be behind like this, and if you have a few High Templar and they land like storms like crazy, they can kill the entire Zerg army with just a few psionic storms. Zerg does not have a let me obliterate you when I'm behind unit. Hydras are good, but they're not that good. He does have the mutas cornered a bit, but Jared's, I think, just playing with his yeah, food like right now. Looks like he might now. get a couple, yeah. He's just playing with his food at the moment. 
Defiler, that's, that is true. A Defiler can, can do that. But it takes a while to get Defilers. <laughs> there are no Infestors in this one, Prodigal Son. That's in StarCraft 2. <laughs> Infestors would be really OP in Brood War, to be honest. Oh, he's going after the drones again. Yeah. See, and Spore Colonies are okay against Mutas. Oh. Oh, you have a Spire now, do you? No, you don't. Say goodbye to that Spire. So, so much for that Spire. Yep. Spire gone. Yeah, but see, the Infestor can lock you in place or slow you now, I think, right? With its, just uh, bullying him with at its this thing, point. <laughs> with its AoE um, spell. And if you can cluster out, like, imagine this Death Ball of Mutas getting fungled. Like, come on. That would be overpowered. Way beyond overpowered if you could fungal a group of Mutas. In Snare and Plague, yeah, you could do that, but. You know, Queen Infe Queen Queen Defiler is Hive Tech, and I w I don't think Locke's gonna get to Hive Tech. But that is a good point. You could make a pseudo Infester with Defiler and and yeah. Ah, uh, maybe I don't know. Uh, Jared doesn't really seem to be going in for the kill. No, because he's just getting Max first. He, he can literally just A-move his whole army, and he'll win. Queen is lair, yes, but Defiler's Hive. So you the Queen is useless without the Defiler, right? I believe Defiler is Hive. That's a whole lot of, Is that Zerglings? Is that a shitload of Zerg? He's got a... Jared's that is a shitload, shitload of Zerglings. a shitload of Zerglings, yeah. Yeah, queens would be okay right now if he would make some queens. But it looks like Locke's just going for a mass hydra. And Scourge, you know, the Scourge could do some work if they land some Scourge bombs. But, oh my god. Oh my god. I think this is over 50... This is like four 12 groups, maybe five 12 groups of Muta. Oh, this, this oh, could be the death you, mark. I don't even think if he had 20 Scourge that they would even make it through all the Glaives. I, th I think I think Lox is dead. He's gonna type yeah, GG the moment he sees it. Oh, march. here it comes Shit. the Zerglings too! Death March! Da 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 da! Dun, dun, dun. And Locke's one gonna, by one, here and, we come. And I believe Locke is going to end this game with over 2,000 gas. <laughs> Well, that's only and one here threat they there, Lock. I want to see the reaction by Lock on Holy Muta, Batman. <laughs> he did manage to kill about ten of the Mutas before it obliterated his whole army. And I mean, he did take out the majority of the uh, Zerglings. Yeah, only a few Zerglings remain. That is true. Oh, we're gonna want. Okay, we're gonna. See this is gonna be epic. These Scourge are gonna land. They're gonna. They're gonna. Never mind. They're dead. <laughs> Man, you just hate to see that happen. <laughs> All right, you know what? Locke's got, Locke's got mutas, mutas of his own. He's got three mutas. Let's go, let's go, mutas. We can, we can make this happen. Let's go, mutas. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> you know what? Maybe. No, he's dead. No. He's, yeah, he, he's definitely dead.
fully eliminated. All right. Well, that was a barbecue. 